Double Impact, 1991, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Jean-Claude Van Damme in Double Impact. Bro, classic Van Damme movie. Handsome bastard in this one, especially the, the meaner Van, uh, Van Damme, the, one, the brother who's born and raised in Hong Kong and he got stubble. Handsome bastard. Uh, he doesn't wear silk underwear and shit. Um, remember that scene? Um, bro, this, this movie... Again, classic Van Damme movie is is freaking fantastic, man. The action's brilliant. You can see the sense of John Woo style that he was trying to, because later when he introduces and introduces John Woo to Hollywood, I think he believes, I believe he gets home John Woo into Hollywood and they do hard target and all that sort of stuff. Um, based in Hong Kong, I lived there, so like, so going back and watching that movie and seeing how it was back in nineteen ninety one, you're like, oh shit, those places, new territory, and they talk mm -hmm. about the Kowloon Victoria Underground Passage, and like, oh shit, okay. Like, you know, it's all familiar to me and whatnot. Um, and, you know, Bolo Young is in there, who's a, who's a legend. You know, he was in, uh, he starred with some movies, uh, the movie with Bruce Lee, uh, Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon. I mean, he, he's just a legend. What One thing that made me laugh about that end fight scene, though, I have to just throw it out there. You know, there's that scene where Bolo Young and, and the, the, the nicer Van Damme, the LA Van Damme fight, Hollywood Van Damme fight. Uh, Bolo Young picks up the, uh, remember the big... Um, oil drum tankers yeah, and whatnot yeah. and he throws them at him like a boss in a video game or whatnot uh first of all while he's picking him up you should have just kicked him in the face but anyway it doesn't matter his his technique when he picked up those things was olympic style perfect bro i was <laughs> i was busting up he's in the middle of they're in the middle of a life and death fight right and this guy killed his parents and then he won he lets Bolo young pick up the thing and his technique's perfect feet Knees are aligned, shoulders are aligned, huh? like locked out shoulders. He's squatting, picks it up, and then he falls it. I'm like, wow, he's proper technique, man. He ain't looking to pull his muscle in this fight, man. And Van Damme just watches him as he perfectly uh, picks up these oil drums and throws it at him. But, but listen, um, just, just laughing at that, that's, it doesn't matter. The action, the, the martial arts, the spinning kicks, beautiful. Van Damme's the best, the most. Back then, man, the most flamboyant martial artist on screen i mean definitely, it's definitely, fantastic definitely. yeah now when i watched it the other day it made me laugh like the cheesy music uh but being in hong kong as well going to see you there and 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 reminding me of where those places were i was like oh my god like i remember being in these places uh interesting like you know the story is quite basic it's a revenge story uh but uh, there's a scene in there that really threw me off, bro. So it's when they're on that island, yeah? And, you know, the the uncle and the girlfriend's been taken and you've got the rough Van Damme woke up from sleep on the beach because he got drunk because they had a fight the night before. And there's a scene where the, there's, there's these army guys coming out of the bush and he starts shooting at him in slow motion. And I'm like, why did they make this scene slow motion? Because Van Damme... He does, just he does slowly. It when, he, was it when he does that and you just see the big bicep and he's like, doom, doom. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's your know, it sticks out so sticks out. Like you know what? Do you know what's funny? Dad was watching that movie when, when I was in London in, in, in uh, during Christmas. And I remember that specific scene. And I was like, wow, look at that bicep. And when I watched the movie, I was like, wow, look at that bicep. And look how it you're bringing it up as well. <laughs> and it's such a random scene. I th he would have got shot in that scene. Van Damme should have been dead in that scene. But that guy came out, it's like, doo, 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 and then he was like, lifted the gun up, bicep. It was slow. They even had him jump up in slow motion. <laughs> I was like, this is so random. But listen, man, Van Damme at his best, flamboyant, great film, great action film. There's nothing more that I'm going to ask, bro. Like, when I put on a Van Damme movie, bro, just make sure you're showing your booty and you do the splits and the, and, and the sidekick. And 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 a spinning kick. I'm happy, bros. You know what I mean? Oh, weird. I'm sorry, bro, but I was just about to say that in the beginning scene when he's doing the ballerina or, or the stretching with the girls and he does his splits, you just see booty. You see his booty and you're just like, should, I'm not, should, I, should, I, should I turn away or should I just watch his booty? Like, I need to, <laughs> need, need to do some more squats first. Uh, oh. Bro, listen, good good fun movie, man. Really enjoyable. I, I And even to this day, for, for it to entertain me to this day, then the movie's still got something. Oh hell yeah, oh yeah! And Bolo Young's a bad motherfucker, man. He's badass, man. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's cool. Listen, the way he died and all that stuff. Like you can laugh at all the action, but 
it, he, he's badass. The story, yes, simple. But back then, that story is just perfect for an action movie, you know? An action movie exactly. story and a bit of business here and blah, blah, blah. Um, Hong Kong, yeah, bro, just brought back memories. It's really good. I mean, he loves Hong Kong. As far as I know, Jack, uh, Van Damme loves Hong Kong. Blood Sport and all that stuff was there. All in Kowloon City and all that sort of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Brilliant movie, man. I Listen, I when a retro movie like that go back and watch it and have no like hesitations and feel like ah oh, come on you, you, those movies man like they're, they're easy to watch and, and maybe for exactly. where, we're from that exactly. era we just generally enjoy it and i don't feel no thing i mean yeah no well brilliant movie man and and what was also awesome is you could tell which one was the real one when they were together every scene that they were together you could tell which was the real one because the fake one looked completely bad cgi like he, he looked like one of those star wars uh you know when they come back from uh -huh. the mind yeah that they, they come back as a hollow whatever no, sorry uh, uh ghost, ghost, ghost force yeah. ghost he literally looked like a force ghost every time they sat next to each other one of them looked like a force ghost you're like that's the fake one uh, and then every other scene they just tried not to put them in the same thing because you know but listen that's 1991 it's cool like it's an action movie it's not supposed to have the best cgi and whatnot but exactly. that was um that was another take in take from that, but um, yeah, man. No, it was good. It was good. Brilliant movie. Good. Brilliant yeah. movie. More to come. More to come. What are we doing next week? I don't know. You tell me. I've got. What do you want to do on the list? Let's maybe we could talk about it offline. But I can watch. It. I'll watch it tomorrow. So let me know. Let's talk about it. What do you want to do? Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. If you have any recommendations of any retro Recommend. movie reviews that you want us to review or just watch again and talk about it, let us know, please. Like, I'll, I let us know. Comment, and we'll we'll definitely watch it. Um, because I watched one that Adil recommended, and um, and we'll talk about it on on the podcast there. But it was it was generally pretty good. It was an anime, uh, Princess Monoko, mm. no, or something like that, okay. nineteen eighty seven or something. So we'll talk about that. We'll, you'll see that on that podcast. But I'm I'm open to recommendations for retro movies, man. So let me let us know, guys.